Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Got a little bit of a busy day ahead of us today. I've just put out a video as well. You should see it at the pinned comments on YouTube and Twitch. Make sure you go in and give that a watch and give it a like and leave your thoughts down in the comments of that video. Anyways, so the plan is today, uh, I'm going to be pulling down my greenhouse. Uh, we're going to be setting up a tree farm and I'll be walking you through like the beehives and stuff. Uh, the tree farm? What am I talking about? A farm and a beehive farm. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's the plan for today. Um, yeah, basically this base is like, it's a bit of a mess. And the whole thing needs like revamped. So, yeah, this is going to be like phase one. Because it's the easier option of everything else so far. <laughs> Hiya Jeremy, how you doing mate? Hope you're doing well. Um... Let me just jump on my server. Remember, the member server for Enshrouded will be up at launch for Enshrouded on the... Oh, what date is it, actually? <laughs> uh, 24th. Yeah, 24th. So... Hey, F3, how you doing, mate? Grief hard. Oh, mate, I'm sorry uh, for your loss, mate. So, yeah. I asked you, what are you doing, mate? Uh, Jeremy, I hope you're all right, mate. You good? Good stuff. That's what I like to hear. Um, so yeah, the uh, Beehive video I put out yesterday, guys, the module that wasn't working at the time of recording that video is now working. So you can reproduce um, worker bees now, which is good. Oh, mate, Jeremy, that, oh, mate, I, I don't even know what to say. Ah. Uh, that sucked. I, pff, mate. Well, all I can say is just chill out and chat. And uh, hope my content can help you out somewhat, I guess. Um, any good? Uh, it's all right. It produces worker bees every so often. Um, yeah, basically that's what it does. So it stops you from farming um, the bee worker bees, to be honest. But it's really slow, so it's probably still quicker to go out and actually get the beehives yourself. You like the module slot idea, do you? Nice. Uh, I think it worked work really well for Icarus. Especially with um, the, uh, the contact device and the beehive. Um, now both having modules, I was just like, it, it, I don't know. I like the idea of just having one crafting bench and just upgrading it personally. Where am I? All right. Where did I log out? Oh yeah. So oh, I'll, I'll show you it now. But yeah, there's the module that wasn't working yesterday. Now that is working, I'll show you. Yeah, this is really slow at breeding um, bees. I'm sure I said butterflies before. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah. it doesn't look like it's working anyways, if it is. The most common question I got asked though is... On the video yesterday is why does it need power now i don't think when it's in its um let's just call it tr1 stage when it's just the box it shouldn't need power but i think the minute you add this on of and this on it should start requiring power um but yeah that's just my take 
I don't know. Which is odd, because it does have a solar panel on the top. Anyways. If I wanted a nitpick, I guess. Let's just go and fix my light. Uh, ah, hang on, I need to turn that off. Let's, uh, let's move to screen. Oop. Oop. There we go. Right. Um, where's my meat? Yeah, I've got to completely tidy this place up. It's so messy. It's really bad. Um, module slots could be handy on multiple things to improve them. Yeah, totally. Hiya, oh, yeah, soup mate. How are you doing? Uh, for the paint recipe, does the different ingredients affect the frame? I'm going to be brutally honest. I haven't tried the air uh, paint yet, mate. I haven't tried it. So, I, I don't know. I, I'll try it on stream for you today at some point. Um, right, where do we start? Right, let's put these away. I'm going to have to go and get... Oh, I need a miasmic pick. Because I'm gonna have to go and get loads of um, silica. Uh, ah, that one will do. I'm gonna have to get loads of bees today as well. Um, because I'll show you actually. Um. So, what I didn't actually test yesterday for the video, um, because it was more of a, I just wanted to show you, it's like, how it operated, basically. But, you, your beehive actually buffs your nearby crops. Look, if you look on the left there, it tells you, uh, there's a, a there's a, a, bees in the area. And, it's also got the modifiers on here, it's detecting crops in the area. So it increases its, um, oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Um, hang on, how do I do this again? Which one did I just harvest? There. So if I hover that, it gives you plus 50% uh, planted crop yield if you have a beehive. But if you notice, all of these have got the modifier here. These have got the modifier here. But into this corner, yeah, it doesn't. So it's like a circular radius around this uh, beehive. Um, I honestly think this should have a red, like a circle around it, showing you where that radius is. Uh, personally, so you can actually um, eyeball instead of having to guess where to place the uh, crop plot and. Um, the actual beehives so having like a circle on the floor like a like a line or something which just outlines the actual radius would be uh, really helpful uh but yeah thank you very, very much for subscribing much appreciated uh like crush bones and so far it seems no matter which uh i don't know i, I haven't de dealt with the uh, the paint since they actually came out to be honest um I'll have a look in a bit. Right, anyways. Let's go ahead and grab these. So all of this is being pulled down. Did 
Did I make you have a great bench? Yeah, I replied to your comment, um, three minutes, uh, not long ago. I'm going to uh, replace these crop plots with the workshop ones as well. Eventually. But yeah, when building the greenhouse, this is one thing to take into consideration now. The fact that, well, the beehives have like a radius on them. Oh god, look at that. Look at that plumbing chat. Absolute magical how that works. <laughs> How the hell do I even begin moving that? There we go. I couldn't be a plumber chat, let's be honest. I can't even remove that. Ah. ah, that'll get removed when I pull everything down anyways. Um, okay, let's go and put these in storage. Hi, it's, um, the, uh, no, no, the workshop crop plots, mate. The, um, they're just, they're, they're OP. Uh, pop them, uh. I've got no food. I've literally run out of food. Oh, don't even whack on me. Uh, just let that cook. Hey, Brian, how you doing, mate? I thought you didn't like spiders. You made a sp oh. Oh, guys. I'll say this now. You know I don't like spiders. I'm going to be a bag of nerves when it comes to Nightingale. That's all I'm saying. You've probably seen it in the trailers anyways. What do you think about the reinforced um, wood chat? With it being on par with um, stone. Hey, I'm mad. How you doing, mate? You were fine with the spider and small ant. The ones which had to turn arachnophobia mode on for, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll soldier on through it. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, like, I didn't think as like, being, like, wild or anything like that. I just think it generally would help the game. Um. I appreciate it, though. Thank you very much. I 
hit a spider. <laughs> Yeah, um, I am actually working on a Nightingale video for you, um, which will probably be out this week. It's like, uh, it's basically a deep dive video to uh, help you get, you know, so you know the ins and outs and whatnot. Like, I'm still under my NDA. Uh, but, um, it's gonna be like stuff you might have missed or you didn't, you weren't too sure on and stuff like that. Right, let's take them out of there. Okay. Let's just put the beehive here for now. Oh wait, I didn't pick it up. Idiot. Rain and cold. Rain and cold in Texas, is it? Oh, because it's fall. Um, we've got... We, we, we had a sto storm Yeah, the past two days, and then we've just been getting hit by another one. All right. So we've had multiple uh, high tier storms since I put this up yesterday. This is the reinforced wood. And it hasn't taken any damage. Interesting. Uh, where the hell? Um... A reinforced wood took me by surprise. Mate, it took me by surprise as well. Hang on, something doesn't feel right yet. All my settings got reset there last night. Uh, let's just cap that at that. Let's have a look there. Um. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, hang on. I think I need to restart the game, guys. Yeah, something does definitely not feel right there. Give me a sec. Bear with me. Make sure you hit that like button, everyone. I'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah, the game definitely fell off there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Something was happening. Uh, yeah, I'm just restarting the game, it's fine.
need WD-40 to craft, uh, to craft for uh, squeaky doors. <laughs> there we go. Um. It's been doing a freaking what the the stream? Like I've got no drop. I've got no uh, drop frames on my end. It's so it's not my end. It might just be YouTube playing up. It, it likes to do that occasionally. So we'll see. Ooh. Hang on. Oh. Chat, I think um, my ISP is having issues now. Give me a sec. Just give me a sec. I'm waiting to see if I keep on dropping frames. Oh, I think it's all right. I think we're good. Yeah, it's happening more and more uh, often this, actually. Don't know why. Uh, it's all right now. It's fixed. All right. Um. Right. Go and get that beehive. No, no, it's all fine now. Everything's fine. Saved. Right. Um. Uh, take all of that. Okay. And we'll take that. I've had to turn Twitch off, mate. Uh, sorry, uh, but yeah. Um, when I start running into uh, issues, the first thing I do is um, cut uh, Twitch off. Um, to try and see if I can rectify the issue, and that does seem to have rectified the issue. Let's just leave that there. Oh, I can turn that off. Uh, let's delete me. The acid rain's burning my skin. Get a blackout for five hours. Well, that's never good. To be fair, I'm surprised I haven't had any uh, power outages uh, with the storms we're getting hit by at the minute. I'll probably get like a major blackout now since I've said that. Well, 
but ain't this green. Let's see if we can move these. There we go. God. I think these are gonna like the batteries and networks, guys. They're um how do I say? They're interesting. What's all this power running do? So that's the power of them out there. What's it? Oh, that's when the uh Oh contact device thing used to be there. Let's tidy that up. A lamp actually does really work um, when it's this one. I hate this storm. Which one's this? Yeah, power cuts aren't the base. Port home time is cl is clear from weather. Really? Is it? Where to get bees? You, uh, I've got a full video on it. It's in the... Um, I posted it yesterday if you want to know how to get the bees and stuff like that. Um, Buffer and I only have this running, really. You loved using the power lines to stay in the dark. <laughs> My hometown's clear from the weather. It's really not, you know. Really not. It's really not. Good idea, but not good finding open in the circuit. Yeah, true. It has just become part of our lives now. So it's like breathing. <laughs> true. Very true. Mate, you want to tell that to the weather outside then? Because we have literal trees getting ripped out the ground. Well, there was one yesterday, but yeah. The wind's really bad outside. Really bad. Like, I can visibly see it right now. But well, thank you, Mr. Weatherman. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jeremy wanted to know about the painting, wasn't it? Uh, where'd you actually do the painting again? Uh, T. Gorse. Um, Cocoa, Lily. You had a flood alert. Oh, man. Ah, honeycomb. There we go. I'll, I'll try the honeycomb and set up our paints later. It's the easiest one out the lot. Oh. So you can make the honey and uh, beeswax out of... Um, on the uh, Mortan Petal. Uh, hey, Domi, how are you doing, mate? How are you this time of day? I'm really good, thank you. Uh, Tashi, it's all in the video yesterday, mate. I'd done a video yesterday, uh... Yeah, outlining them all, but there's three of them. Uh, jawed honey, honey mead, and, uh, honey tea. But yeah, there's a, there's a few more, uh, let's see, it's in the video I put out yesterday. What the hell? Right, let's get some beauty sleep. Oh, hello. I'm eating the peasant food. You missed it. You got tired of Power World Raid, so I figured I'd hang out here for a bit. <laughs> uh, the, the raids aren't that bad. Um... 
I'm convinced I, I've got broken pals though. Um, because they, they, they are ridiculous. Like, I'm level, I don't know, I'm not like high level. I'm only like, like 24, 25, and I'm absolutely chinning all of the uh, bosses. Um, they don't even have a, uh, a say in the conversation. Right, turn that off. The burned the entire base. The one of my bases did get burned down, but it, yeah, they didn't hit my storage chest, so that's that's a bonus. Right, okay. So what's this? Oh. All right. God, I got a fright there. I thought like. I look at all I saw was that when I uh, when it's coming past I thought it was like a player holding a rifle. Oh, that skits me out. That I, re I actually got a fright. My mouse nearly went flying off my desk. God, uh, I've got to lay off drinking all this water if that's what it's going to do to you. <laughs> uh. There's mead, nothing will get done now. Yeah, exactly. I think... So I'm thinking about expanding the base to here. And I want this to all be like a farming and greenhouse area. The only problem is... Who does this belong to? Oh, that's mine. I might have to move the dropship. Hmm. Hey, Ian, how are you doing, mate? Hey, Ian, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Uh, so what do you think of the beehives and the new cooker? Uh, well, the new cooker is like... Pfft, yeah. It, you know. Look. Do I look the type of person who's going to use the new cooker? I'm eating charred corn and fried tomatoes. And berries. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, yeah, the cooker's cool. You know what I mean? More variety is always good. But... Um, the, the beehives, on the other hand, is definitely very good. Like I said, the video I put out yesterday does highlight a lot of the air uh, positives regarding the beehives. You good? You been lurking? Ah, that's good to know, mate. Uh, have a door, but... No, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna uh, bring the wall out and wrap around. I'm not gonna, like, have an idea. They need to stack the food bits from 10 to something like higher, higher quantity. I guess, yeah. Right. Let's get started. Do you think I should use the new wood? I might use the new wood, actually. Um, yeah, let's do that. Might as well. Um, pop that in there. Um, right, leave that there. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, the devs have done something. Bear with me. The devs have done something. Uh oh. I think the devs have moved the reinforced wood. Oh, wait. Hang on. They might have got the talents, might have got. Uh, uh, the blueprint might have got uh, knocked off due to um, it getting updated to the uh, experimental branch. Hopefully that's the case. Huh. Huh. 
Now, what have the devs done with... It's still in the game. Give me a sec. Yeah, it's still in the game. Uh, 13 watch now and we need more likes in the video. <laughs> uh, right. Hit the red thingy, huh? Um, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Um, I think the devs have... I can't find it. So, yesterday, I didn't show it on the video, but there was a reinforced wood option here. And it appears... The devs have seen fun detected and removed a really good item. Bear with me. I hope I, ho I hope that I hope the devs haven't just looked at the looked at it and went, "Oh, that's broken." Carpent right there. No, no, it's there. Uh, no, no, it's not. Maybe. Hang on, let me try this. Right, let me take that. I, I, I hope they haven't added as a talent. That's going to suck if they have. No, so that's the durable one. Ignore that. Actually, break that so nobody gets confused. Destroy that. Um, why would they do that? <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, I'm not happy about that. Like, what, why? Like, why? You know, you know, the aren't there a really good thing with this patch? Like, that wood would have saved people, like, a lot of headaches. Yeah, you know, that it put me in a rant and mood that now. God damn it. Fun detected. Can't have that in the game. Uh, at least I've built one wall. We 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 can like reminisce of like the good old days when we're about to get a really good wooden wall. Um. Anyways. Uh, it's gone. Yeah. Sorry, Jimmy. What 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 did you say? Statues should have buffs. Like what? Uh, the enzymes are um Oh the enzyme stat nah I I think the I think they're good for like the, the purpose they serve right now. Uh, like I need to double check this, make sure I haven't like uh, glazed over it or something. No. Yeah, it was like a section here saying reinforced um uh wood. Complete done that. No well.
Uh, right, okay, so let's see here. TFO got armor, armor open. TFO got armor open. What do you mean? Wait, has this been changed around? This looks different. Has this been uh, changed? That looks tidier. I don't know what you mean, TF4 has the armor open. <gasps> there it is! It's in, Oh, they've moved it to TF4. Oh, they've put it... Uh... They've put it behind the one item nobody uses. I'd rather just not have it in the game. The big statue should have a turret. They've literally put it behind the one item nobody uses. I can count pretty much on, like, uh, two fingers uh, how many people use the electric carpet revenge. God. Like, wh why move it from where it was to TR4? Because the stats are exactly the same as what stone is. Stone isn't TR4, and you can literally get beeswax. It like what well, TR like TR1, like hang on, nah, I need to I need to try and figure out. Sorry, chat, it, like I need to try and figure out what the logic is behind this because this is dumb in my opinion. Like, give me some of this. There is no logic behind this being locked behind TF4 in, the, in a stupid crafting bench. Right, let me just see the logic behind this. So, honeycomb you can get straight away with the the uh, beehive. You take it to the more and so and you can turn it into beeswax. So, that is... All right, hang on. Um, is it tier 3? Hang on. No, tier 2, right? So with tier 2, you can get the resources to make the reinforced wood. If it's the same recipe as it was yesterday... So if it was the same recipe yesterday... And a good way to figure that is out is because I've got one crafted. Right, this is one of them. Um, don't worry, chat. I'll be your voice. Right, so... Right. Let's have a look. There. Reinforced. Plus three tiers. So that's tier six, right? So... I'm going to get the resources back from this. I want to see if anything new has been added to it. Six fiber and ten wood. There's no reason for that to be TR4 chat. No reason whatsoever. That is... Devs, if you're listening, I'm sorry, but that is stupid. That is... like, There's no reason for it to be TR4. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that you are just doing that as a, like, a weird, like, early April Fools. Like, there's just no, just, there's just no reason for it. Anyways. Um, right. Sorry, sidetracked. 